Guacamelee Super Turbo Championship Edition is a platforming game where you play as a Mexican, which is pretty unique. The only other two I can think of just off the top of my head are uh, Rey Mysterio Bandicoot and of course the classic George Lopez Year of the Dragon. In this game, there is a lot of a melee combat and of course a lot of platforming, but what really takes over the game in terms of uh, difficulty and uh, something you probably wouldn't expect from a game like this is puzzles. There's a lot of puzzle elements in this game. These are mainly related to platforming, like trying to figure out how to get from point A to point B in the environment. At first glance, it seems and plays like a simple flash game. I mean, something you can just play in your browser, but the game is pretty complex. There's a lot of different moves, there's a lot of different environments, and of course, you have to keep up with the map. The map, a lot of the times, can be a giant maze. The story is wacky in the game and doesn't take itself too seriously, and what's really great about the combat in the game is it's satisfying to mow down the enemies, and you really do sometimes mow down the enemies. A lot of times, just like a dozen bad guys appear on screen, and you just run through them like uh, scissors through paper just completely destroy and obliterate them like Lindsay Lohan through a bag of cocaine, like Hillary Clinton through a bunch of emails. There are tougher enemies though, and again this is where the puzzle elements come in, where you have to figure out how to defeat the uh, tough enemies. There's something nice about playing 2D platforming games, and, and not just when you're playing a 2D platforming game that's really fun to play, it's also a time machine. It takes us back in time to our childhood, to the 90s, when we played classic 2D platforming games like Sonic and Mario. We weren't expecting more, we weren't expecting real-life graphics, we were just expecting some fun, and that's what this game is. It's nice, relaxing, laid-back fun. It gets an official Stan Birdman rating of an 8 out of 10. Thanks for watching. Goodbye, my friends.